here, the share milker grabs a steel bar. You are the bully. If I saw you, if I caught you doing that, mate, t -t 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 -t, I'd wrap that pole around your bloody head. Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Now, just when you thought the dairy industry wasn't disgraceful enough with its, you know, forcible impregnation, baby stealing, um, just exploitation and murder, uh, there was this that came out of, uh, recently out of a, a newspaper here called The Newsroom. Now, this was about a guy who was caught beating a cow or like he likes to say, educating the cow. Um, so this was, this is a news article. Here's one from last year. It says, uh, this is a story, uh, Northland share milker who was secretly filmed allegedly violently and repeatedly hitting cows with various weapons, including a steel pipe, has pleaded not guilty to charges. So he was facing six charges related to the ill treatment of animals. So this is important here. Footage of the alleged abuse was covertly recorded by a farm animal ad advocacy group, Farmwatch. So basically they left, they've left cameras on this guy's dairy farm and he's beating cows with poles and bars. And if you see the, the cow's legs here in this photo here, swollen, this is one of the poles that he was um, hitting the animals with. Fast forward Forward to this year, uh, July 6, 2020, this was article was written. Cow beating footage has been thrown out of court. What? So hidden camera footage showing cows being beaten with a steel pipe was deemed unlawful in court, but partially on the grounds it would encourage undercover filming in the future. How ridiculous. So here, look, Luke hit one cow in particular around the legs with a steel pipe so severely both legs were swollen and she struggled to walk. Now, the judge has thrown out this, this footage used to convict this guy, or used in court for this guy, because she said it was reasonable to infer that if encouraged, this group could continue to gather evidence via trespass. Because they trespassed and g gathered the evidence illegally, they couldn't expose Another illegal act, which is a worse illegal act, which is bashing an innocent animal. Now, how backwards is that? So, so you're telling me that if there's a child being abused and you go and collect covert footage, but you've trespassed to collect that covert for footage, you wouldn't use that footage in court? How unjust, how ridiculous. Um, the activists are doing the right thing and exposing a animal abuser and you know, the, the, the evidence won't even be look, looked at in court. It won't even be admissible. It's just crazy. The judge knows what's up. I don't, I don't even understand how they let that happen. You know, uh, so listen to this. The case summary documents show his explanation for the treatment was there were three cows in the herd that were grumpy bitches and he was sick to death of them kicking the shit out of him or other cows. He said he faced two options, send them to slaughter or educate them. Well, you know what, mate? Like, if you didn't have, like, this massive herd of dairy cows, you know, pushing them around, you know, trying to herd them into milking parlours all the time, pl close proximity, then you wouldn't have issues like this. So, um, I mean, educating them with a steel bar is taking it too far, way too far. I mean, it seems like you're the one who needs to be educated, mate. The defendant accepted that he did not meet the minimum standard, but somehow he had to educate the cows, and that's how the animal kingdom works. Cows are bullies. Cows are not bullies. They are gentle, submissive animals, and you're the bully. You are the bully. And I can't believe he's using the animal kingdom to justify his actions. Like, this is how the animal kingdom works. Well, I'll tell you what else happens in the animal kingdom. Murder. Rape. Uh, animals being eaten alive <laughs> while fully conscious, having their throats ripped out. You know, there's a lot of horrible things that happen in the animal kingdom. And to say, like, imagine going to the judge, like, this is just be just just be ridiculous. But imagine shooting someone in cold blood, going to the judge, or you know, stabbing someone to de to death in cold blood, eating a piece of their body, like you know, these serial killers have done, cannibals and serial killers have done this. Then going to the judge, you know, this is what happens in the animal kingdom. The animal kingdom is, you know, this is how it works. It's a, it's a very violent place in the animal kingdom. So, so your honor, you, you know, this is just how it is. I, I don't know. It's just crazy. Crazy, and it's not even funny because, like, to claim the cows are bullies, that's why you're hitting them with a pole. Just absolute insanity. You're a bully. Should we hit you with a pole? I don't know. 
That's a question to ask. So Farmwatch, this is the footage, the people who got the footage, great work, Farmwatch. Spokesperson Debbie Matthews said that the limp sentence was outrageous. He got like, what was his sentence? Let's have a look. He received a fine of $3,000 plus $130 in court costs. Wow, he didn't even get it. Like a prison sentence or a suspended prison sentence or anything like that. He just received a fine, $3,000. A fine for beating someone. Debbie Matthews from Farmwatch also said that uh, if this doesn't warrant him being banned from working with animals, what does? We think the public will be disgusted with this outcome. Yeah, like, what do you guys think? Even the meat eaters. What do, you, what do the meat and dairy eaters think of this? Like, that's what I want to know. Like, what do you think about um, cows being beaten with poles? I could almost guarantee you would be against that type of treatment. I mean, you might not be against slaughterhouses, which is weird and bizarre. If you think animals shouldn't be beaten with steel poles, you should also oppose them being slaughtered. I don't know, like, are you against the cows being hit with a, with a pole to educate them? Well, they've got some footage here. Uh, we can play some of it. If it's too graphic, we'll have to censor it. Here, the sheer milker grabs a steel bar. Oh, there you go. And smashes it around the cow's hind legs. Oh. oh, yeah, that cow looked like the, the cow looked like they were being a real bully then to deserve that. Like, I don't even know what this cow did to deserve to be beaten with a pole. Like, you're the bully, dude. You are the bully. If I saw you, if I caught you doing that, mate, t -t 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 -t, I'd wrap that pole around your bloody head. And in case that wasn't enough. Look at this. What is widely known about the shear milker is that he painted a cow who got on his bad side. Look at this. When the paint washed off her, he painted her again. He's, he's painting the animals, he's treating them with contempt. He obviously doesn't treat them with the respect. They're just milking machines to him, bashing them with poles. Cow. Okay, with that. Oh, yeah. Oh, really funny. Really funny, mate. Not laughing. ...included those from former staff. Look at that. workers who had been milking the herd alongside him had witnessed his anger being taken out on the cows. Ah, oh, so it's training. He's just training the cows. I don't know, yeah, like, pfft, I don't know what you think about that type of training. Through my eyes, there was no reason for him to be beating those cows with that, that pole. The cows weren't attacking anyone. There was no self-defense involved. There was no reason for him to raise his hand to these cows. Um, maybe not being as submissive and, um, you know, cooperating with him as much as he's like. It looks like it's just frustration. He's been frustrated with these animals and he's just started beating them treating them with contempt and you know disrespect so what do you guys think in the comment section what do you guys think that this guy got off with a three thousand dollar fine they didn't um use the footage in court because it was obtained illegally i feel like that's an, an injustice and because the, the judge's rationale was that because it would encourage more people to obtain footage exposing cruelty illegally well you know why the hell would that be a problem why the hell was that a problem? Well, maybe trespassing you could see as a problem. If, the, but if they're if they're going there with with a good reason, with good reason to to um, expose cruelty. I mean, why would we wouldn't hold that standard for dogs? If there's a dog locked in a car and it's a hot day, we smash the window, we rescue the dog. If you find out that there's you know dogs being treated cruelly, you know you, you run an investigation. If you find out that um you know, there's children being abused and you have to take matters into your own hands because the police won't help. You know, taking some footage as evidence is a good idea. I think these are good ideas. Yeah, but to throw it out and then let him get off scot-free seems like an injustice. Uh, that doesn't seem like justice has been served. He's obviously shouldn't have animals in his care. He should have got a way harsher sentence. The, the beatings with the pipe were just disgusting, to say the least. Um, yeah, the judge should have given him a much harsher sentence, even without taking that footage into account. Swollen legs following a beating. This is what cow's legs should look like. What do you guys think of that? What do the dairy meat eaters think of this? Uh, do they, they probably wouldn't allow this either. I mean, 
you know, you just can't avoid it. I would just boycott dairy industry, boycott animal agriculture um, completely, and then you know for 100% this stuff isn't happening, um, or you're not actually supporting this stuff. The stuff's still going to happen, but you know, um, it's just whether or not you want to be supporting industries that are doing this to animals. All right, guys, I'll see you all in the next video. What do you think about that? Leave your comments down below. Um, yeah, disgusting, or do you think it's acceptable? I mean, I doubt anyone thinks that's acceptable, but, you know, go ahead, leave your comments down below, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace. You're trying to make something out that isn't. No, you know, but that just isn't. So I think you better fuck off, really. Oh, really? Yeah, I do. Because I think you're just being, uh, you're just trying to make out something that isn't.